why do people feel guilty? Well, it's been suggested that guilt is what you feel when you know that you've transgressed uh, boundaries that you have set for yourself. When you sincerely believe that you've, quote unquote, done something wrong, the healthy conscience creates the sensation or the experience of feeling guilty. It's a little tripwire, a little warning. Ah, 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 ah. Your um, you're failing yourself. You're failing others. Now I hold that the flaw in that argument is that presupposes that the very fact of feeling guilt means that you are guilty. And I think that guilt is bigger than that. <laughs> it's a lot bigger than that. Um, it's like saying the very fact that you're in prison means that you've committed a crime. <laughs> Sorry, I don't buy that. Um, and fundamentally as well, there is also the phenomenon of inflicting guilt upon people. Passive aggression. Passive aggression is a real thing. I think we all agree on that. Um, Gandhi wielded it so expertly that he dismantled the British Empire. <laughs> um, and now, let's look at that. Why does someone do that? Why does someone wield guilt as a weapon? Because they want to improve people. <laughs> Is that the only motive? It's not maybe. There is a nice gratifying feeling of power involved in that. I think that the guilt power trip and the desire for it is just as big a phenomenon in the whole subject of guilt as the experience of it is. Why do we inflict guilt upon other people? I know what's going to come up when I raise this question. And I'd really like to explore this. I'm not quite so sure that we always inflict guilt for the right reasons. And that points to something fundamental in ourselves. 